on YouTube. We're down here in a very noisy downtown Binghamton and construction on the Water Street parking garage has picked up again. So what I thought I'd do today is give you guys a look around the site. Believe it or not, there has been some progress. They're demolishing the portion of the garage that used to be over the old uh, men's department section and they're going to end up putting a new roof on it and if you believe some of the uh, drawings for the new garage eventually they're going to have parking again above the store so uh, thank you to everyone on patreon if you want to join them links down in the description i'll put a colorful qr code over here and yeah let's go check out the progress in january and i'm going to go grab my coat before i freeze to death all right center street we're going to walk down the back alley here you can see it looks like they have a lot more of the foundations in when i got here just a little bit earlier the crane was pounding in a steel beam that's going to help support the pylons of the garage and you can see a lot more of the foundations are in i believe this is going to be a mostly precast garage but according to an article I read, it will still be able to support apartment buildings on top should they choose to go that route. It's looking real good so far. Oh man, it's so cold out here, my eyes are starting to water. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you appreciate my eye torture. Man, look at that steel. That rebar is thick. <laughs> and that rebar is already rusted. I think these are like a cap that the steel is gonna sit on or something maybe. I don't know. If you know, let me know down in the comments. These poor guys have to be out here all day. I feel bad for them, man. But they're probably making banks, so I don't feel that bad. But yeah, these are... Uh, I wonder how, what the dollar value of all this steel sitting here is. It's gotta be pretty insane. And then over here, again, this is the part of the parking garage that's over the men's side of the store. And they're gonna fully dismantle it so that they can put a new roof on the men's store. And I believe, you know, like I was saying earlier, if you look at the, the renderings of the project, eventually they're going to have parking over the store again. Only one level this time though. This guy over here is getting ready to weld something. already did maybe I don't know he's I thought maybe this would be interesting yeah there we go this might be the thumbnail right here all right so uh let's go back over to the Water Street side of the project now. All right, so we're over on Water Street now, and it doesn't look a whole lot different over here, except they do have a ton more of those uh, rebar cages sitting on the ground over there. So the progress that you can see over here is that more of the concrete is gone from the top of the men's store. I'm trying to get you guys some drone shots today, but the cold weather is not playing nice with the drone batteries, so I might just have to use some old footage, potentially. So if we come down this way, the men's store is thoroughly cleared out inside. In fact, you can see right there all the merchandise is gone. And if we go up here, 
You can see all the concrete is finally gone from that second level above the mensor. And uh, unfortunately, yesterday there was an accident where a concrete slab fell and landed on one of the construction workers. So, you know, speedy recovery and best wishes to whoever that was. That must be terrible. <clears throat> I do not believe that the person passed away or was killed, as far as I know. According to the news article, he was alert and talking to responders. You got the giant Rogers crane over here. Here's a look at the site. So hopefully what I'm hearing is that possibly by this time next year, there will be a parking garage here at least partially open for us to operate on, uh, operate in, I should say, and, and use. So another, another interesting tidbit, this brick facade here covers up an old historical facade underneath. And uh, the owner of Boscov's said that he would be potentially open to re-exposing that historical facade on the building uh, underneath. So hopefully that happens because this is kind of ugly, I'm not going to lie. Let's, uh, let's go into Boscov's now and see if we can find, uh, or look at rather, the condition of the men's store. And also so that I can warm up because my left hand, which is holding the camera, is starting to feel like a bit of an icicle. So we're inside the men's store now, on the first floor of Boscov's. And here's what it looks like at this moment. It's all roped off and tarped over as they remove the men's, uh, or rather as they remove the parking garage that used to exist above it. Now let's uh, peek around this barricade over here and see what we can see. Oh yeah, look at that. Everything's gone. A lot of water damage down that column. Looks like there's actually two layers of tarps keeping people back from the edge here. Wow, look at that ceiling. There's a lot of leakage going on up there. <laughs> Definitely needs a new roof once they get everything fully removed. Well guys, so that's going to be our look at the progress at the Boskov slash Water Street parking garage here in uh, 2024.